So what R K Narayan has written, they are fiction, they are his imagination, but there it is people and their interaction, what people talk to each other in their daily life. He struggles to protect that lake. So it is given, the title is given as Watchman of the Lake. The knowledge of folk is very vast and still there are researches going on to find out the knowledge of folk. Hello everyone, this is your Shobita S. Aradhya, lecturer, Department of English, Vidyashram Pre University College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome back for today's session. And today we are discussing a drama by R.K. Narayan. Actually, he had written a story, but they have dramatized it, and it is The Watchman of the Lake. Watchman of the lake. Yes, here he guards the lake. So the title is Watchman of the Lake. Let us start the lesson, The Watchman of the Lake. And uh, at beginning, we'll see about the author. Who is the author? Author is R.K. Narayan. He is regarded the best writers in India. So an Indian author whose works of fiction include a series of books about people and their interactions. So what R.K. Narayan has written, they are fiction, they are his imagination, but there it is people and their interaction, what people talk to each other in their daily life. That is recorded in his books. So it is very interested, it is very near to our lives also. In an imagined town called Malgudi, so Swami and his tales, all those stories are from the background of the town Malgudi. The Malgudi town is also his imagination. So whatever he has written, all those are most of them the fictions. He is one of the three leading figures of early Indian literature in English. Among three leading writers in English in India, he is one. The other two are Mulkraj Anand and Raja Rao. So these three are called or, or they are said to be the leading figures of uh, early Indian English literature. He is credited with bringing Indian literature in English to the rest of the world. So Indian literature in English language, he had taken it to the world. He is credited for this work. One of the greatest novelists in India. He is one among many great novelists in India, but his Novels are, they just drag you, they make you continue reading till the end. That is the way or that is the style of R.K. Narayan. Narayan rarely wrote plays and this one is said to be dramatized version of his short story, The Watchman. So, as I told you, he has rarely written plays but his short story, one of his short stories is dramatized and the short story was the Watchman. This is about the author of today's lesson, The Watchman of the Lake. Next, we'll see the title. Why is the title given as Watchman of the Lake? What is its significance? The title Watchman of Lake refers to the person who struggles for the protection of the lake. So this person here, he struggles to protect that lake. So it is given, the title is given as Watchman of the Lake, story which narrates the legend about the great rustic Mara's sacrifice made for the conservation of the lake for the sake of the lives and depended on it for their survival. So Mara is a figure, he is the person here who is rustic, who was not looking the proper one. So he sacrificed his life for the sake of the lake and the people who depended on the lake, on the water of that lake. So whoever survived using the order of that lake, for those people, he sacrificed his life. So that is why this lesson has got the title, Watchman of the Lake. So continuing, we'll see the plot. The plot means from where the story, where the story has woven. The play is set in a village near Baba Budan Hills in Karnataka. So Baba Budan Hills, there a village is uh, imagined and this story is written from that plot. Next is 
the significance of the story, the play. This play also highlights the invaluable gift of folk wisdom to humanity. Till now, folk wisdom, we are not able to gather all of them and get the knowledge of folk because folk is generally from mouth to mouth. It is to generations, mouth to mouth. It is not in a written form. It is not recorded. So, the knowledge of folk is very vast and still there are researches going on to find out the knowledge of folk. And this story, it highlights the invaluable knowledge of the folk to the humanity. Need to protect natural resources. We learn that we need to protect natural resources after reading this play. So, that is the significance of this play. Next, the characters. Which are the characters of this play? The village headman, so who is uh, uh, conducting the work of road construction there. That fellow, the king, Mara, the watchman of the lake, and Ganga, Mara's son is Ganga, and son, Ganga's son is called only son here, he is not given the, any name. Then Bhima, a road worker, who was working under village headman and many others who were working for the construction of road. All these are the characters of the play, the watchman of the lake. Next, let us start with the summary of the play. So, here in scene 1, the play is set in the village near Baba Budan Hill in Karnataka. So, that is the plot of the story. Mara, the protagonist, means the leader who led uh, to save the lake. So, now he is Mara and an innocent rustic, very innocent and rustic. Rustic means who was not in proper. So, his the fingers were bent and he was not looking very normal like any other human. So, that he is called rustic. He presents himself before the village headman and his workmen who are mending the road for the king's arrival. So, king was arriving means he was passing through that village for that the road was being constructed. So, when uh, this construction was going on, Mara, he hides himself behind the trees. From far, he somewhere he looks at the road, the construction of the road and uh, the repairing of the road. By this time, the village headman, he gets angry on Mara. Why is he doing so? Because his behavior was not considered as normal. So, the village headman gets angry on Mara. Mara wants to tell the king about the tank. Why Mara was doing so? Because he wanted to tell the king about the tank. So that there is a need of constructing a tank for the river which flows from the mountain. The headman calls him a fool and orders his man Bhima to carry him to the cellar. The village headman he wants first he asks his uh, workers to bring Mara there. He runs into the uh, hills but he was caught and brought by the workmen there. And then the headman warns Mara not to come in this road until king uh, passes through the village. But Mara asks why shouldn't I? I am coming here. I need to talk to the king. So getting angry on uh, Mara, the village headman he calls Bhima very stout person who was like a wrestler, he was called, so he was according to his name Bhima, he was called to take Mara to the cellar because if he is left free, the headman was sure that Mara will come and say something or disturb the king. He was considered as fool. Mara was considered as fool by the village headman. So, in the, this is in scene 2, uh, it starts with the king arrives. The king arrives to the road in a hurry. The road was repaired. The road was ready. The king arrives now and on the day when king comes, all the people were shouting uh, the king's name. They were welcoming the king. By that time, suddenly Mara jumps down from a tree. When the king was passing through, Mara jumps down from the tree in front of the king's chariot. So, now the king was surprised. He tells the king. King asks, what is the problem? Why have you come? First, at first, even king scolds him and the soldiers uh, catch hold of Mara. They wanted to punish him. But uh, as he started telling, I want to talk to king. I want to tell him something. This is God's uh, words. I want to tell it to the king. For after hearing all this, the king asks him to tell what is his problem. He tells the king that he wishes to share with him some important message regarding 
a dream he had so he had a dream regarding that he wants to tell it to the king inform the king he informs the king that the place where he now stood was a sacred spot so now where the king was standing he was stopped by mara by jumping from the tree that spot is a sacred spot that place is very sacred why it is sacred there once hanuman descended on this place looking for sanjeevini what is sanjeevini sanjini is a medicine life saving medicine so uh, it, he says that hanuman had descended here had come to this spot to take sanjeevini from the hills why sanjeevini it was when lakshmana was wounded in the battlefield at lanka he found it on the crest of the mountain so you must be knowing the story of ramayana where rama and uh, ravana fight and uh, during that time when uh, lakshmana and many other soldiers were injured they were uh, fighting for the survival after the wounds at that time hanuman was asked to get the sanjeevini plant from the hills this sanjeevini is a life saving medicine so mara tells the story that hanuman had come here and on the hills the on the crest of this hill only uh, hanuman gets the sanjeevini plant he takes it from here and uh, uh, lakshmana was brought to life after smelling that so then he flew back to lanka hanuman so mara is telling that uh, hanuman he flew back to lanka after getting the sanjeevini from the crest of this hill and on smelling it lakshmana returned to his life so he says that only after getting sanjeevini from this hill hanuman took the sanjeevini plant to lanka there it was smelled by lakshmana only after smelling the sanjeevini lakshmana came back to his life so this is the story started by mara so according to mara this was the hill from where hanuman took the sanjeevini from the crest of the hill he continues on the mountain where sanjeevini grew a stream arose came down mount the mountain and now flows down as river veda so mara tells that from where hanuman has plucked the sanjeevini tree from there a river star arose and it started flowing and the name of that river is veda he tells that the river which flows down from the mountain is veda speaking about his dream mara says that the goddess appeared in his dream and he lay in his hut so she, he says that i was laying in my hut i was sleeping at that time a goddess came to my dream and she has told me something which i want to convey to the king so he starts telling about the dream he got in his hut she stood before him her tresses flying in the wind there were stars in the coronet a ruby and her garment was golden woven with lightning so he is describing how the goddess was who came in mara's dream so according to mara how was the goddess uh, stood before him and her dress is flying the hairs she has left they were flying and there were stars in the coronet so in her coronet there were stars uh, embroidered a ruby and her uh, also a ruby the costliest blue stone and her garment how was her uh, garment the, which she was wearing it was gold woven with lightning it was gold woven her garment the way the what she was wearing her garment was woven with gold and lightning okay so he is uh, describing the goddess now he fell at her feet so when he had a look at the goddess he fell at her feet and goddess she said that river veda was her plaything she tells that i have created river veda she is my plaything now what you have to do with veda that i'm going to tell you so this is informed by the goddess to mara so what she tells about veda her plaything means the thing which she has created so that we'll see she wished to keep her pet sheltered in the cool glades of the mountain during summer so when it is summer goddess says that she wants to keep uh, veda the river in the cool mountain she doesn't want to flow means veda should be cool during the summer days so veda will not be allowed to 
flow down the hills, flow down to the villages. So she will have to be within the mountain where Veda can be cool and calm. For that reason, people and the soil may dry. People may die and soil may become dry because the river will not flow through the village. So what should be done? How to alternate this? This idea was also given by the goddess and that is she told Mara that it was her command that uh, he should tell the king, his king, to build a tank and not let Veda leave the village. So what she, uh, the idea she gives, so as Veda should be in the mountain itself and this village was at the uh, bottom of the hill. Now uh, the goddess suggests that Mara should go to the king and tell that king should build a tank so that Veda will not flow away from the hills. So this idea was given by or the suggestion was given by goddess to Mara and Mara was a person supposed to convey this to the king. So now Mara tells everything that he had in the dream and he has conveyed what goddess had told Mara. This is in scene 1 and scene 2. So now uh, Mara has informed the king to build a tank and stop Veda there for the village people and uh, to agriculture and for all the uh, uses of water. Now what king will do? Will he consider Mara uh, his dream seriously or will he laugh at Mara and uh, uh, just move on? What will happen in next scene? We will see in our next session. Until then, take care, bye-bye and thank you.